It's a bonus edition of the Book Club for Kids. Hi, I'm Kitty Feldy. Last week we discussed Cody and the Mysteries of the Universe by Tricia Springstub. This week we continue the conversation with her all about writing. So first of all, Tricia, Cody has such a distinctive voice. You know exactly who Cody is just by the way she tells the story of her life. How did that come about? I think that was the key to me to being able to write the books. Um, I had this idea of, you know, a neighborhood and of a character, you know, so different from me, um, so bold and so adventurous and never giving up. Um, And yet when I tried to write it, I floundered around for the longest time until I found Cody's voice. And then once I did, um, the books just took off and, One of the pleasures of writing a series like this is that you have that voice. So when you start book two, you know, it also starts with in this life. And so does book three. I mean, it's like you're re-entering, you're stepping back inside Cody as soon as I type those words. So I don't know how I found the voice really, except that I must have tried on, you know, a dozen or more different ways of telling the story before that one just it felt right. And then, like I said, that really was the key to the books for me. Tell us your writer origin story, how you became a writer. I came late to being um, a a writer. I have lots of friends and I I always read about other writers' journeys. um, And so many people knew since they were very little that they wanted to be writers. I mean, I knew I was a reader from, you know, the very beginning, but I didn't try to write. I mean, I wrote journals and things for myself, but I didn't try to be published until I was in my late 20s, nearly 30. Um, and I <laughs> I actually married a, a school teacher. And, you know, teachers are always full of ideas um, for how what would be good for you. And so my husband said, look, you love, I had had many jobs working with kids. um, And he said, you love to read, you know, kids so well. Did you ever think about, you know, trying to write something for kids? And so I did start, um, I I tried, um, and I suffered, you know, the usual avalanche of rejections for quite a while. And then I did start to have things slowly um, accepted. And I ha- I was very lucky in that um, I had uh, an editor at, uh, she was at Little Brown at the time. Her name is Melanie Krupa. And um, she mentored me. She saw something in my writing. She didn't accept the first things I wrote, but she said, read this book and see how this writer does this and, you know, and try, try this. And so she actually, I never studied writing. I lived in a rural part of New York. I didn't have really writing friends or writing community um but she encouraged me and and somehow you know the the right all the tons of reading i had done um i metabolized it somewhat and then with her guidance um i was able to to publish my first book so yeah it was a combination of desire and persistence and really being lucky and having a great mentor yeah You've written middle grade novels, a picture book. Is there any particular genre you've always wanted to tackle? I've tried lots of kinds of writing that I failed at. Um, I've tried to write historical fiction. No, because I kept making stuff up. I couldn't stick to the the period. Um, I've tried writing mysteries, um, which I love to read, and I and you know mystery of mysteries of the universe. That I but I could not. I've tried to write like real like who done it with a crime kind of mysteries and clues, and I cannot. It's I can't do that. It takes too much of an analytical mind to like plot those things out. I can't do that either. Um, I have not yet written a fantasy, and I would love to do that. And um, I have an idea right now for a picture book. Um, I have some grandchildren, and one of them, um, she and I, we make believe together so much. And so I have this idea of a little girl whose grandmother is a witch. <laughs> And they do magic together. Um, so if I could pull that off, I would be really, really happy. <laughs> and I know kids love fantasy, but I, so far, but that's my goal. That's one of my dreams to try that. 
Yeah. <laughs> Everybody says picture books are much more difficult to write than middle grade. True or false? Well, I've written like 10 middle grade to two picture books, so I would definitely agree. Yeah. I mean, picture books are so close to poetry, um, and they're so – every word – has a weight, you know, where in a longer book you can, you can mess around a little bit more, but, um, and, and the, the collaboration, like knowing just how much to tell and how much to leave for the illustrator to, you know, add and, and really it's such a, it's such the, the sum of, it's so much greater than the sum of its parts when you work with an illustrator. Um, so all those things make them, make it magical, but also pretty demanding and challenging for me. Yeah. Thanks, Tricia. We have interviews with dozens of other writers at our website, bookclubforkids.org, on our Writers on Writing page. And by the way, the makers of Book Club for Kids have created a very different sort of podcast. It's a mystery tale about the 10-year-old daughter of a congressman who solves mysteries on Capitol Hill. And she teaches civics along the way. It's called The Fina Mendoza Mysteries, and it's available now for free wherever you listen to podcasts. There are free teacher's guides and a facts behind the fiction blog. Just check it out, The Fina Mendoza Mysteries. I'm Kitty Feldy. Thanks so much for listening.